And now chapter 10, Divisions of the Creation. Vidura said, O great sage, please let me know how Brahma, the grandfather of the planetary inhabitants, created the bodies of the living entities from his own body and mind, after the disappearance of the Supreme Personality of Godhead. O greatly learned one, kindly eradicate all my doubts, and let me know of all that I have inquired from you from the beginning to the end. Sutta Goswami said, O son of Bhrigu, the great sage Maitreya Muni, thus hearing from Vidura, felt very much enlivened. Everything was in his heart, and thus he began to reply to the questions one after another. The greatly learned sage Maitreya said, O Vidura, Brahma thus engaged himself in penances for one hundred celestial years, as advised by the Personality of Godhead, and applied himself in devotional service to the Lord. Thereafter Brahma saw that both the lotus on which he was situated and the water on which the lotus was growing were trembling due to a strong, violent wind. Long penance and transcendental knowledge of self-realization had matured Brahma in practical knowledge, and thus he drank the wind completely along with the water. Thereafter he saw that the lotus on which he was situated was spread throughout the universe, and he contemplated how to create all the planets which were previously merged in that very same lotus. Thus engaged in the service of the Supreme Personality of Godhead, Lord Brahma entered into the whirl of the lotus, and as it spread all over the universe, he divided it into three divisions of worlds, and later into fourteen divisions. Lord Brahma is the most exalted personality in the universe because of his causeless devotional service unto the Lord in mature transcendental knowledge. He therefore created all the fourteen planetary divisions for inhabitation by the different types of living entities. Vidura inquired from Maitreya, O my Lord, O greatly learned sage, kindly describe eternal time, which is another form of the Supreme Lord, the wonderful actor. What are the symptoms of that eternal time? Please describe them to us in detail. Maitreya said, Eternal time is the primeval source of the interactions of the three modes of material nature. It is unchangeable and limitless, and it works as the instrument of the Supreme Personality of Godhead for his pastimes in the material creation. This cosmic manifestation is separated from the Supreme Lord as material energy by means of kala, which is the unmanifested, impersonal feature of the Lord. It is situated as the objective manifestation of the Lord under the influence of the same material energy of Vishnu. The cosmic manifestation is as it is now, it was the same in the past, and it will continue in the same way in the future. 
there are nine different kinds of creations besides the one which naturally occurs due to the interactions of the modes. There are three kinds of annihilations due to eternal time, the material elements, and the quality of one's work. Of the nine creations, the first one is the creation of the Mahatattva, or the sum total of the material ingredients, wherein the modes interact due to the presence of the Supreme Lord. In the second, the false ego is generated, in which the material ingredients, material knowledge, and material activities arise. The sense perceptions are created in the third creation, and from these the elements are generated. The fourth creation is the creation of knowledge and of working capacity. The fifth creation is that of the controlling deities by the interaction of the mode of goodness, of which the mind is the sum total. The sixth creation is the ignorant darkness of the living entity, by which the master acts as a fool. All the above are natural creations by the external energy of the Lord. Now hear from me about the creations by Brahma, who is an incarnation of the mode of passion and who, in the matter of creation, has a brain like that of the personality of Godhead. The seventh creation is that of the immovable entities, which are of six kinds. The fruit trees without flowers, trees and plants which exist until the fruit is ripe, creepers, pipe plants, creepers which have no support, and trees with flowers and fruits. All the immovable trees and plants seek their subsistence upwards. They are almost unconscious but have feelings of pain within. They are manifested in variegatedness. The eighth creation is that of the lower species of life, and they are of different varieties, numbering twenty-eight. They are all extensively foolish and ignorant. They know their desirables by smell, but are unable to remember anything within the heart. O purest Vedura, of the lower animals, the cow, goat, buffalo, Krishna stag, hog, Gavya animal, deer, lamb, and camel all have two hooves. The horse, mule, ass, goda, sharaba bison, and wild cow all have only one hoof. Now you may hear from me about the animals who have five nails. The dog, jackal, tiger, fox, cat, rabbit, sajaru, lion, monkey, elephant, tortoise, alligator, gosapa, etc., all have five nails in their claws. They are known as panchanakas, or animals having five nails. The heron, vulture, crane, hawk, basa, baluka, peacock, swan, sarasa, Chakravaka, crow, owl, and others are the birds. The creation of the human beings, who are of one species only, and who stock their edibles in the belly, is the ninth in the rotation. In the human race, the mode of passion is very prominent. Humans are always busy in the midst of miserable life, but they think themselves happy in all respects. O oh, good Vidura, these last three creations and the creation of demigods, the tenth creation, are Vaikrita creations, which are different from the previously described Prakrita or natural creations. The appearance of the Kumaras is both. The creation of the demigods is of eight varieties. One, the demigods, two, the forefathers, three, the asuras or demons, four, the gandharvas and apsaras or angels, 
five, the Yakshas and Rakshasas. Six, the Siddhas, Charanas and Vidyadaras. Seven, Bhutas, Pretas and Pishachas. And eight, the superhuman beings, celestial singers, etc. All are created by Brahma, the creator of the universe. Now I shall describe the descendants of the Manus. The creator, Brahma, as the incarnation of the passion mode of the personality of Godhead, creates the universal affairs with unfailing desires in every millennium by the force of the Lord's energy. Thus ends the tenth chapter of the third canto of the Srimad Bhagavatam entitled Divisions of the Creation.